guys, welcome to the vlog. So this is going to be quite a mixture of a vlog. You're going to see me getting my brand new car, which I'm really excited about, and all the drama that happened with getting my new car. And also me going to the charity football match in Burton. Please excuse my face. I've had this makeup on all day, and as you can see, you see my breakouts. And also, I don't ask what's going on with my hair. I really hope you enjoy this vlog. So I haven't put a makeup tutorial up this week. I'm going to be filming at the weekend um, Google choose my makeup. I'm also going to do a prom look at some point and I'm also going to do a festival look so keep out for that. Don't forget to subscribe but without further ado let's get into the vlog. Okay guys so I haven't told you yet but we are getting a new car and I'm just about to go pick it up but I'm just going to go get my um, old car out of the garage because we're trading him in so I thought I would bring you guys along with me. I will show you my old car because I don't actually think that you've seen it properly okay guys i just had the most stressful time sorting out our old car we were trading our car in oh sorry hold on that light so yeah we were trading our old car in and it wouldn't start so i haven't shown you my old car but i will show you the new car i'm going to cut back to the garage the moment that we picked up our new car but yeah so we had to jump start my old car and it was just stressful and I think Lewis about had a heart attack, didn't you? Yeah, I'm not doing that again. I had to climb, open the boot, which was the only way to get in. Climb, put the chairs down, climb through the car. I think I ripped my jeans in the process. I open the door, stressful. So yeah, we got some guy to help us as well because it just wouldn't start and we were late picking it up. But the girl at the Volkswagen very kindly waited for us and we've got our new car. So let's go check it out. So guys, this is our new car. Very happy about it. Here's Lewis, happy. Can't wait to drive it. I'll show you more when we get home. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you our car now we have it. Here is the inside. Ooh. So it's got an entertainment system which we can connect our phones to. Obviously my old car did not have any of this and my old car was really old. We are ready. You ready? Let's go. Parking sensors. How cool. Um, please excuse this huge mess behind me. Um, I went out last night and like every normal girl, I just threw all of my stuff everywhere. So today I am going to Burton Albion charity football match. There's people like Max Branning from EastEnders going, Callum Best, some Love Island stars. It is all for charity so I'm just waiting to be picked up by my mate. I actually think they're here so I probably really should get going. So as well we are going to go into town because two of our friends are actually getting married. So we're going to go pick up some bits for like their hen party. Uh, well not a hen party but just a little get together with our little group so yeah me and my friend are gonna go pick up that stuff before we head off okay so I have to get into the back of this tiny little car so I know I can go in the front yes So 
so we've made it to the football. This is Shelly in her lovely coat. I love her coat. I don't think she's even aware that I'm filming her. Let's go. 
Freezing. Upset the so. celebrities did not want to see people outside, however. No. Very, very upsetting. People waited here for ages to see them. They've like gone for and none of them wanted to come out. Oh, no. And um, all the stewards said, oh no, they're waiting in for dinner. A couple of them ran out of a different entrance. Yeah. Rubbish. This wind is doing nothing for me. So, yeah, we've had a wicked day. We're now going to go find someone for a drink until we get picked up. She's making me walk miles. As you saw, we went shopping whilst we were in Burton at the charity football match and did go to Primark. Please excuse how messed up this Primark bag is. If you've ever shopped in Primark, you will know how flimsy the bags are and it did rain. So yeah, it is um, all ripped up. I just thought I'd show you what I got. So first thing I got was this bag. This bag was eight pounds, which I think is really good. So it's just like a nude color with some gold studs and these appliques. So it was quite Gucci-esque. And then it just opens with a popper and it does have a really nice long chain as well. So yeah, that's just inside. I have used this bag already and it is deceptively big. So I've got a few t-shirts as well as I am running out of just normal casual tops. So this one has just got three flamingos on it. It's just a normal sleeve t-shirt. I have actually worn this one already. It's just a nice normal basic top. I actually sized up in this one because um, they look quite small. I got a 14 in this one. So normally I'm like a 12 on top. So yeah, I did get a 14 and it does fit okay. Also in these, when I'm doing Primark um, hauls, would you like to see me try these things on? Would that be more helpful for people? I know that there's, like people like do like the try on hauls so I'm happy to try them on and show you guys what it looks like on as well during hauls so this is the next top I got it's just a obviously a friends t-shirt that says how you doing this it here I don't know if you can see is like um like a felty kind of material and then like the color of it's like gray um with these like black speckles threads on it um, and I got this one in a 12 and again I have worn this one but I don't know I kind of it fits okay but I wish I had sized up I just like things to be a bit more oversized so yeah these I would say they are true to size so if you like them fitted then go for your normal size if you like them like me a bit oversized go for the size up so this is the next one I got it's just a another basic t-shirt again like I said I just really need some basic t-shirts this one um, seems quite oversized. I haven't actually worn this one yet. So yeah, so this is a grey, again, you know, theme of the day is grey. As we all know, I love grey. Um, so yeah, this just says J'adore, and then it's got like these stripes of different colours, which I just thought was really cute. And actually, Shelly uh, got this top as well. I didn't realise she picked it up. And so by the time I picked it up, she was like, oh, look what I've got. And I was like, oh, well, 
matting. So this one is quite capped sleeves though, so I know like this isn't everyone's cup of tea, but so just be aware of that. And again, as you can see, I got this in a 12 and it was four pounds. And then the last t-shirt I got was this, this one. So these, this is just one of their basics. It's the same as the flamingo one. So yeah, this is just um, like a mint green with, I think they're stalks or herons. Stalks or herons, I don't know, some kind of bird on them. I just thought it was really cute and it isn't grey. Boat go me. So again, with this one, like I said, I have sized up. I've got a 14 as they did look um, smaller and again, £2.50. So, and to be honest, they're actually quite thick material. You know, like I said, I wore the Flamingo one the other day and they're really comfy and, you know, they don't feel like they're £2.50. So if you're looking to stock up on t-shirts, get yourself to Primark. And then the last thing in my Primark bag was just this Holla and Glow Bare Face Charcoal Mask. It was reduced to a pound. I haven't actually tried the Holla and Glow masks yet, so... Let me know if you want me to do a Instagram video or something like this. So I normally do these in the bath, but I can obviously put it on and then like show you guys after. And I got the panda one because I love pandas. I think they're really, really cute. And yeah, like I said, I've just wanted to show, uh, try one of these for a while. So that is it for my Primark little haul. So guys, uh, me again, obviously. I didn't finish the vlog, as you can see. We may have got a little bit overexcited, I'm going to put it that way, at the charity football match. But I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Please excuse the mess in my background as well. It's my tripod and my camera and a jumper. I really hope you did enjoy the vlog. Please let me know if you do like vlogs. Um, I really enjoy doing them. They don't get as many views as my makeup tutorials, but that's okay because I do it because I love it, not because I want the views on the actual vlog itself. And it's also a way of me remembering all of the uh, special occasions or good times that I have. I really hope you guys enjoyed them as well. I hope you enjoyed my mini Primark haul. If you would like me to try on the clothes whilst uh, when I get them and I do hauls then please do let me know down below I know people do like that to see what they look like on different body types I'm also doing I'm um, sort of on like a fitness journey I've been doing it for a while now I have lost 11 pounds yay go me I'm following like the Joe Wicks body coach thing I'm not actually doing his 90 day plan but I have all of his books I do his hit training I also do all the workouts so let me know if that is something you're interested in as well I can I can put a, a vlog together for that, I can show you my fitness, what I've been doing and what I've been cooking, what I've been eating. I'm one of those people that loves junk food. McDonald's is probably my favourite thing in the world, which I know is not really not healthy and not good for you. But if you know me personally, you will know. Chicken nuggets are life. So yeah, just let me know because it really has been a change for me. It's more of a lifestyle change as well than a diet. I don't believe in fad diets and those sorts of things anyway so yeah this has been more of a lifestyle change for me I've been doing it for about eight weeks now really seriously and yeah I'm finding it good and easy it's not as hard as I thought it was and once you sort of get yourself organized and get into it it becomes easier and easier and now I just feel like it's second nature to me so yeah if you would like sorry to ramble but if you would like to um see my fitness journey then just let me know in the comments down below i'm probably i'm going to start vlogging it anyway so just in case you guys uh, are interested don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just so you can be notified every time i upload thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next one bye